Well, congratulations, James. Um, certainly challenging conditions out there. What, what was your, your thoughts over the 90 minutes? I think it spoiled the game, to be honest. I think it was uh, two, good, two good football teams. We've had close games over the years, and I think it was just a case of who dealt with the conditions the best. And I don't think there was much in the game, but I think we, we just edged it. I felt that we played a wee bit better into the wind than they did. And, again, and with the wind, I don't think both teams played very well with the wind at their back. So I think we just edged it, and obviously that was a half that we scored a goal as well. So. And we went for a, a freshening up of the attacking options today. Yeah, I just felt we needed a wee bit, uh, a wee bit more energy up the top to try and get us up the park. I don't think we were great up at that end of the pitch last week. Um, but you know, we've got a big squad, so everybody's going to play their part. It's important you take your chance when you, you get the, the opportunity. Go through some key moments, though. I mean, um, five minutes in, and there was a long ball played through. You know, wind assisted by Elgin, and it was a tremendous tackle by Balatoni. Yeah, I thought we were maybe fortunate to get through the first five minutes without being a goal behind, to be fair. I'm not sure. Uh, the wind and maybe poor finishing for their part, or uh, maybe just as no set on into the game. Um, but I thought they got they got off to a good start, and it was in hindsight it was an important period for us to to get through. Yeah, and um, a couple of controversial um, offside decisions on the, and around about the twentieth minute as well that kind of smart you out the out the dug out there and, and getting a bit vocal. Yeah, I thought. I mean, the camera might prove us wrong, but I thought it was clearly offside, possibly even as much as four or five yards on the far side, and the linesman kicked the flag down, and we were lucky to get away with that one. And you know, the referee ends up deciding that he, he, he cautions Colin for dissent, and I think it was really a mistake on their part. But yeah, it was a, a small incident that could have been major for us because it could have put us a goal behind. But I was felt I was right in line with it, and I thought it was it was offside. It was just a ball down the wing, and. Um, it was an easy offside to give, I felt, but they played on and um, luckily we got we got through that. Yeah, and just prior to the, the City goal, you were encouraging Gabby just to, to get in front of the man that was that was marking him and of course, a couple of minutes later he obviously listened to your wise words. It's been a theme for the week because we put in so many good crosses last week and we never really got across defenders and, uh, you know, at half-time he said he just kind of peeled to the back post on that one, but I think obviously it was in his mind and I think Conrad's won the header and the goal, he's saved it and he's in for the rebound, so... Mm -hmm. I thought well, brilliant for him. You know, it's his first start. He's, you can see, he's got potential. He's here to get some games, but he's, you know, he's going to have to fight for that. There's a lot of competition with Blair and Michael Cunningham, Alex Harris, a lot of uh, players that can play in the forward areas. But I thought his work rate was brilliant today. I thought he defended well. Um, him and Uzi really worked their socks off and epitomised the the team performance. Yeah, a couple of, again controversial penalty claims um, on 35, 35 minutes or so. You know that. From where I was sat, it looked pretty clear to me. I mean, I think the, the, the footage will show maybe in the highlights or whatever, but... Yeah. Well, I really don't know how... It, I didn't know if it was inside the box or outside the box, but I thought it was a clear foul. I mean, it, the striker's running at the goal, he's not the ball. Um, there's a some sort of challenge and he ends up flat on his face and the ball doesn't change direction. So I don't know why he would go down when he's heading that way, but again, we're lucky that it's no cost us. It could have been very costly because it was a, either a free kick at the edge of the box or, as you say, inside the box, a chance to, to make it another goal. Yeah, yeah, and I can confirm it was definitely in the box. Was it? Yeah. We've had enough feedback from people watching it on the on the pay-per-view as well. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's a hard game to, to referee, and but I think sometimes the officials have got to remember it's a hard game to play in and a hard game to manage as well. And when you're getting emotional at the side of the pitch, it, it's no easy to calm down because it's your livelihood, it's your your future. It's all right just to stay calm, and this is not a kick about in the park for us. We're trying to do well. We're trying to we're trying to win a league here, so it's no easy to stay calm when you see decisions like that going against you. And listen, you win some, you lose some. So we got away with it today. I think um, we'd like to see them given for us if uh, it happens again. I like you see in the second half, um, not always playing with the wind gives you that advantage, um, but equally. On 52 minutes, I thought it was you know a perfectly good goal, chopped off. Um, it would remain to see again in the highlights. I can see that maybe you can. Uh, That's it. I think there's like two or three decisions that have been key in the game. I wasn't sure on that one, if I'm being honest. I wasn't sure who was actually they gave offside against. Um, I know Gabby that scored was definitely onside, mm -hmm. so I'm really not sure on the easy one. Um, but again, the linesman's right in line with it. He's seen that one, um, obviously missed the one in the first half, but he's seen that one, so again, the video evidence will, will prove us right or wrong. Yeah, and again, a couple of, or another notable good performance by Newman at the back, where 
he's starting to, to look more and more comfortable in that position. Yeah, he's obviously a young boy, he's coming to the team. Um, he's played a number of games now and he's, he's done well defensively. A lot of people think he should play further forward, but I think he's actually a very good defending 1v1. And uh, I thought there was wee times today where he could have maybe played forward a wee bit quicker, but he's a, a good learner, Sam, he's a good boy, he's a good type, good attitude. And um, he's you know, obviously that's our first clean sheet with him in the team, so he's got to take pride for that as well. Yeah, well, we'll let you get back up the road because I know there's maybe another game that you might have a, a bit of an interest in as well. Yeah, ho the TV. yeah hopefully uh, one result's went our way today. Hopefully another one goes our way as well. Thanks very much. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, thank you.